Hey, what's up guys? Devin here from Dignited. Today, I want to show you a new screencasting app that has just landed on Chromebox, aptly named Screencast. And then how different it is from the default screencasting app that you've been using, all right? Let's get into it. All right, so if you're running Chrome OS 103, then you should have the new screencasting application from Google that has a bit more features than the default screencasting application. Now, both uh, screencasting applications share common features. For example, you can record your screencast. You can also have a webcam. So you can uh, connect an external webcam or you can use your Chromebook's webcam during your screencasts, which is cool. It usually appears on the top right corner, but you can move it across the screen wherever you want it to appear and also you have a microphone support so you can use your Chromebook's built-in microphone or you can use an external microphone I prefer to use USB microphone and for this screencast I'm using the Fifine K669 microphone the differences between the default screencasting application and the new screencast application is the new screencast application now has auto generated transcription so it automatically transcribes whatever you say to say English and then from there you can translate to other languages like uh, Chinese, Japanese, Spanish, French. I think that is powered by Google Translate and then the other difference is you have sharing and collaboration built in so whatever screencast that you do is automatically uploaded to Google Drive. From there you can share with your friends or colleagues or co-workers the screencast is not stored on your Chromebook's hard drive. It is uploaded to Google Drive. And then you also have markers, which are great for annotating uh, the screen. So you can, you know, just draw images, you can draw shapes, you can draw arrows to just call to our attention some areas that you want your audience to view. Okay, so let me show you some of these features, starting with markers. All right, so to start the screencast application, come to the app launcher and then you can just search for screencast like that, right? Yeah, and then to start a new screencast, you can just click on new screencast here. So I already have a screencast running and once the screencast is done, now you can just come to whatever area of the screen that you want to annotate. So let's say I uh, just want to annotate some bits of this web page here. This is Pixlr and uh, to bring up the marker, come to the shelf uh, section here and then click on the, this pencil icon that you see here. By default, the marker is turned off. So to turn it on, uh, tap on it and then simply start dragging along the screen uh, draw whatever you want shapes or arrows you can also change the default color of the marker by right clicking on it and then you have uh, magenta blue i think yellow and red so if we got yellow there so you have yellow now as a marker so to now turn off these uh, annotations the highlights just tap on the marker icon again and then they are erased off the screen just like that yeah this really is awesome so if you're doing a lesson for example you're a teacher and you have students and you want to call to attention certain areas i see how indispensable this tool can be it's really great for building or creating instructional videos so the other feature that you have uh, with the new screencast application is uh, transcription tools here once you're done recording your screencast, uh, the application will automatically generate transcription for you. And this is accessible on Google Drive or on the screencast application itself. All right, so the processing is finally done. It took about 30 minutes plus to just process uh, footage of about five minutes. That is awfully long. Yeah. All right. So let's look at uh, the screencast, which is done. I named it screencast demo here and you can now just see the screencast from Google Drive. If you fired up your Google Drive, you should be able to see it right there. OK, and it is right here. I'm just going to click on it. Oh, yeah. And now you can play.
and from so you can see this is the screencast uh we've just recorded a few minutes back it has been uploaded onto my google drive and it is available uh to anyone that i can choose to share it with you know you just share the video the normal way that you share other files on google drive simply come to the menu icon here and then just simply tap on share uh, google is going to all generate a link and then you can really add people's email addresses you can also choose that route so it's really the usual uh, way of sharing files on google drive so I, I don't want to use google drive to do this i would rather go back to the screencasting application itself and then just tap on our screencast here and you can see uh, we have the share button here by default the video is private but you can choose to share it with others uh, google is going to auto generate that link again copy it and then just send it to whoever you want to view the video it is available on google drive so it's available to anyone who has a link to the video okay so this is the auto generated transcription that uh, we have uh, let's check it out just see how accurate it is i'm just going to open say a web page just whatever web page that i have here open i have pixlr which is a, an image editing software that i use most of the times okay that's not bad it gets uh some bits right others it totally doesn't get it i don't know if it's my accent or i'm not audible or something really yeah so if i'm going to really create a transcript i'm have to go and edit some bits of it i think you can do that can you yeah you can edit text right here so for example here it missed uh pix this should be pixel or something like that so yeah so you can just uh, do the edits and see you know just those bits that the ai missed then you get something really good the beauty about uh, the transcript is that you can just keep to sections and each of these sections of the transcription is linked to the video where that transcription appears so you, it's really good for you know just skimming through the video which is uh, ideal for tutorial or courses kind of content this is awesome yeah so all your screencasts appear here they are available here you can play them locally but they are also available on google drive and i don't think you can download this to your computer hard drive i think you'll have to go to google drive and download it to your computer hard drive that's another bummer right there awesome so this has been my quick run through the new screencasting application i have mixed reactions to it i think it is generally great i don't like the time that it takes to do the auto generating of the transcription and also uploading to google drive it took about 30 minutes for about five minutes of footage so that is uh, awfully a very long time but by and large i think this is really a great tool for people who are doing uh, courses or um, tutorials or teaching online or you know creating you know reports and so forth so uh let me know in the comments below what your experiences are if you like it if you don't like it otherwise uh, if you like this video go ahead and give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you like to see some of these tech tutorials and videos and so forth in the future otherwise we'll see you guys in the next one